so now when the data moves data moves in a data stream of data is divided into different packets as you can see here stream of data is divided into different packet so now what is exactly packet what it contains the components of the packet is one is data this is data then header and this is a trailer so packet contains data header and a trailer so now when the packet moves from one machine to the other machine which follow certain standard or certain standard or rules that is called as osi model so osi model is nothing but a type of standard used for the network design other than that we have tcp or dod model tcp means uh, uh, tcp model is uh, tcp model or dod model is uh, designed by department of defense us uh, this os model osi model con contains uh, different uh, layers each layer contains the functionality so here you can see here you can see different uh, uh, this one layers uh, starting from application layer presentation layer session layer transport layer network layer data link layer when the data moves from the upper layer to the lower layer each layer will add its own adder so that you can see on the other end uh, when the data moves from the lower layer to the upper layer each layer uh, will remove the adder foot by the other layer for example the adder foot by physical layer is removed on the uh, removed by the physical layer on the other side the adder foot by the data link layer is removed by the data link layer on the other side the adder foot by the network layer is removed by the network layer on the other side the adder foot by the transport layer is removed by the transport layer on the other side that's why we can say peer to peer communication so uh, my dear students the physical communication is actually like this this is physical physical communication this is physical communication but uh, peer to peer communication means this one uh, so if i show this communication by dotted line uh, there is this is called as peer to peer means uh, whatever header put by the transport layer whatever changes done by the transport layer will be removed by the transport layer only that means a uh, transport layer of the two machines will communicate uh, virtually that communication is called as a uh, peer to peer communication So here you can see the seven layers of the OSI model: application layer, presentation layer, session layer, transport layer, network layer, data link layer, physical layer. So as I said, uh, suppose if you take this is the computer A and this is the computer B, and uh, if, if you take this is the computer A and this is the computer B. Now, the uh, this one the peer to peer communication is like this, uh, but uh, physical communication is somewhat like this. And from this side, uh, on the other end, uh, like this. Uh, this is the physical communication. <laughs> so each layer has got its own uh, its own job in between uh, be before explaining the function of each layer uh, so data link layer uh, is further divided into logical link control and media access control that you will come to know later so now what is the job of the each layer what is the function of each layer in the seven layers uh, these layers are called as uh, three layers are called as upper layer and the last five layers are called as four layers are called as lower layers the upper layer is called as uh, the, the the responsibility of the upper layer is uh, the responsibility of the upper layer is data presentation this is the responsibility of the upper layer data presentation this is called as data presentation data presentation and uh, the responsibility of the lower layer is uh, data transmission the responsibility of the lower layer is uh, data transmission this is data presentation and uh, responsibility of the lower layer that is transport network data link and physical layer is data transmission so we will see one by one now so so application layer see normally applications are classified into computer application network application and internet network application when i with respect to network context uh, i am not talking with respect to computer application here you can see computer application what are the different types of computer application i talk with respect to network application or internet network application that means uh, i want to access web page how you are going to access web page which protocol will help you to access web page so that is which protocol will help you to access a web page that is nothing but http so that is a networking service on the application layer i want to uh, download uh, uh, certain message from uh, particular website uh, which uh, protocol is used there ftp i want to send uh, mail from one uh, 
mail account to the other mail account which protocol i am using here which type of service i am using here smtp simple mail transfer protocol all these are uh, different types of services uh, like uh, services used for electronic mail file transfer client server process uh, uh, then uh, video conference uh, world wide web uh, all these are called as uh, networking application services or uh, job of the function of the application layers uh, i can say application layer provide different types of uh, networking services uh, and these services are classified into protocol so example of uh, this one are http ftp smtp snmp tftp telnet uh, dns uh, dscp all these are different types of uh, application service provided by the network application layer so now next uh, So presentation layer job is nothing but a data encryption, security and a data comp uh, compression. Uh, data encryption, it will encrypt and it will provide security and it will uh, data compress. Uh, it will translate the data from one format to other format. For example, uh, you type username uh, gen and password tree. So that will be encrypted and translated to the, some other format uh, before sending. Uh, this is the job of the uh, presentation layer. Session layer will establish session. So you can see here, uh, Application layer provides uh, file service, print service, uh, file service through file service, print service, message, uh, database, and uh, other type of applications. Uh, then presentation layer provides data encryption, compression. Session layer provides uh, dialog control. Transport layer provides end-to-end uh, -end connection. Uh, network layer provides uh, routing. Uh, data link layer provides framing. And physical layer provides uh, physical topology. These are the like sum of of. Uh, uh, functionality of uh, various application layer, sorry, various uh, layers in OSI model.